Hey, Solus121 here with Real Hardware Reviews, and today I got something a little different again. Today I've got the ExpressVPN WRT1200 AC router here. It's pre flashed to their custom firmware, and they gave me a year of free service to try out their router. For the last three months, I've been playing with this router. Why did I take three months to review it? Because I knew I'd have a couple negative things to say about them, and I really didn't want to lose their service because, all in all, I do recommend their service. Just the cost is a little steep. So, what's this thing gonna cost you? First and foremost, the router itself. This is the base model one, which I still think is more than enough for anybody. It's an AC router. It's fast, it's got great range. It's gonna cost you $299 American. That's a bit steep for some people, but I'll explain what else you get with this. You get the service. You get it set up and everything else and really easy to use and their interface is really nice on the router once you connect to it and stuff like that. But that's not all you got to pay for sadly. You also have to pay for a subscription and it comes out to being about a hundred dollars a year if you pay for 12 months. And that's honestly what I'm going to be doing next year. I really like their service. And I wasn't expecting to like their service enough to want to pay for that and Netflix at the same time. But the fact this is so simple to use, I really have to recommend it. So why do I recommend this? Well, out of the box, I didn't even set it up. I got lazy and my wife kind of saw it in the corner, plugged it in right beside me here, set it all up and it just worked. It plugged it in. There was a couple of issues with the fact that it couldn't connect right away. I was getting blocked on uh, Netflix saying that we had area blocks on and stuff like that and to turn them off and went and contacted tech support and they said to connect to LA3 as I'm showing on the screen right here and right away every device in my house started to work. Uh, out of the box I did connect to LA2 where it had another one I think it was Boston or something that just didn't work at all. LA2 worked for everything but the Apple TV where LA3 worked for everything in my house which is just awesome. I was really happy to get everything up and going and really happy that the tech support was instantaneous. Tonight I even asked them another question about what else is included in the router and they told me nothing. <laughs> Which at least I got an answer instantly, so great tech support guys. I, I, I'm, That's not sarcastic. I mean they have awesome tech support. All in all, this is a great service. You basically install it, set it up super easily. Anyone can set this up. The guide is super easy. I've got it scrolling down the screen right now. It's step one two three four blah 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 it's super easy plug it in it just works enter your key that they email you once you've subscribed to their service and you're good to go after that's all set up you are almost 100 percent ready to go you're just gonna need to go to the ip which is on the little sheet they give you you log into that ip which the instructions again will tell you and once you're in there you set the location and i recommend la3 seems to always work if you're in Canada, that is, and you want US Netflix, and right away you've got Netflix from the US. If you want to go to the UK, you can go to the UK Netflix, you can go all over. And you click on it, you don't even need to reboot the devices you're on. All you really have to do is close Netflix, reopen it, and you're in the area you need to be in, and it just works. So that's absolutely awesome. All in all, you're paying $100 for the service, and nearly $300 for the router, so it is a lot of money to pay, and it that's a little steep. But for the service you get, if you're not paying for cable, it's actually not a bad deal because you got to pay for your set top boxes and everything else anyways with cables so i see this as a pretty decent option all in all it's not perfect it's gone down for me three times both time the first two times were quick fixes they just changed the location and it started working again and contact support and they said it'd be fixed within a couple hours but here's a new location that works which was good tech support was great other time it went down for 24 hours which was canadian thanksgiving and uh, netflix had blocked everything they possibly could to try and get people to get away from services like this and when i contacted them they said there was some outages and within i only had a couple hours to test but within the next day when i test again we were 100 percent up and going so do i recommend expressvpn yes do i think they're the best solution no when you connect to this for gaming don't connect to this for gaming. Have a second router that's running directly to your main connection, to your main ISP. No VPN because on this service, you're about to get your bandwidth cut in half and your pings may go through the roof, but when you're streaming, you won't notice this for streaming video. If you are trying to use this to play a game, your team is going to hate you. You're going to get banned from servers for constantly having bad ping. Just don't do it. Gamer solution, no 
people who want to watch videos or post things around the world where they might be blocked from some site from whatever reason it's a great solution hell if you want to go to like comedy central and watch south park it says you have to be an american thanks for that and if you connect to this you can watch it you don't even need netflix if you want to go to a bunch, bunch of other websites you can go look at their version on their location say you own run your own website and you want to look at it from another location see how fast it is you can do that with this it's a great solution I, I like it um a lot of money is spent don't get me wrong uh, I gotta give it uh, for support 5 out of 5 but uh, for quality and what you're getting out of it you're basically at a 3.5 you're, you're spending a lot of money and you get a cool service that used to be basically free you could find a DNS somewhere you plug it into your devices and you're up to go up and going but Netflix has been blocking this left and right but is it a good service yes will I buy it again yes I definitely will I even got free out of it which is awesome but I will be paying for the service next year. I'll pay the $100 American just for how simple it is. If you are looking for a VPN service and you're also looking for a secondary or new router, I highly recommend their services and this little router here because it just works and its range is amazing. And this is Solus121 of Real Hard Review signing out. Uh, check out ExpressVPN. I got good things to say. I got some bad things to say. Service cost. You guys can do a little better on the uh, always being up thing, but easy swap over cost it's a little scary at first glance but in all in all it's not that bad um does it work it works does it kill your speeds if you're trying to game oh yeah don't game on it but if you just want to watch tv it's gonna do you so this is souls 121 of real hard reviews signing out and have a good one all goodbye